Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a direct link uh, using the daemon tracking uh, tracking system. And it's really easy. Um, I'm going to use the Black Cat CPA network for example. Um, there will be some information below this video that will uh, you know, give you more information on Pulseback and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, you know, how to do it you know, for, for basically any uh, network. So the first thing you need to do is get your offer link and inside Black Cat CPA uh, you only need to grab the portion of the link that goes uh, up to where it says sub 1 equals. So you copy that and then you go over to your daemon tracking system and you uh, mouse over where it says setup and you click on networks and offers and that's where we are right here right now. Uh, you go ahead and you throw your link in and then you place the sub ID variable at the end of the string which comes after sub 1 equals. Um, for you know, uh, Some other networks may have something different than sub 1 equals but there will always be an equal sign. Uh, I'm going to, below this video you'll see some, some, some uh, uh, links for other networks and you know their respective sub IDs and this will help you out you know a lot better. A lot of people have been confused about you know uh, uh, placing pulse back uh, and, and, and setting you know links correctly inside of, of daemon tracking it's really easy all you have to do is just you know do it and don't you know uh, place it in your head that you know this is a, beyond you or above you or uh, it's difficult there's nothing difficult about it it's just different um, so again in black cat CPA you only need to grab the link up to where it says sub 1 equals uh, then you paste the link in and at the end of that link you place the sub ID variable which is located you know right here uh, up under where you enter your offer link it says uh, sub ID variable equals uh, less than less than sub ID greater than greater than. Um, so I'm gonna give the I'm gonna set the offer name now this is a rewarding promos uh, $1,000 Quiznos gift card so I'm going to copy and paste that in there. I'm going to choose the network, uh, and then I'm going to select. I'm going to put in the payout. In this case, uh, for this offer, it's a dollar for uh, an email submit, first page. So uh, yep, pays on email submit, and the niche um, restaurant. Yep. So there's no uh, restaurant thing here. There's a gift card one there, but if you wanted to add a new uh, a new niche you, you simply just click on new and then you know you can type it in here the box appears or whatnot but I'm just go ahead and select uh, gift card and then I'm gonna hit add offer now your offer is uh, inside uh, daemon tracking but you now you still need to set up your uh, campaign link and you need to set up your uh, tracking pixel and pulse back URL. Well, I like what I like to do is before I go and set up the campaign link, I want to make sure I have my tracking pixel or, or, or my pulse back URL there. Now, this is where it starts to get tricky uh, for you know a few people. They don't know what to put in this field sub ID. You don't need really to put in an amount if you know you're 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 uh, using uh, 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 just to make it easy. You don't need to to enter. The amount here. Um, if you 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 you're, you're entering the amount when you put in the, the the campaign when you set the campaign link. So now in some of the networks, you know they'll have you know an area where you can set your pixel, whether that be you know Max Bounty or Purefly or whatever. And uh, they have in you know different sections titled different things. But in Black Cat CPA network, it's called pixel placements. And uh, it says uh, right here to place a new pixel for this campaign. Click here. So, you also need, I also need to know uh, what the sub ID variable is, and so I already know what the sub ID variable is. Uh, in order to get it, you just click on Tools inside of the Black Cat CPA network, and you'll see the uh, information there. But the sub ID for Black Cat CPA is pound sub one pound, and so you don't need the simple global traffic uh, the 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 uh, uh, image pixel you don't you don't you don't need that one you need the actual 
pulse back URL. That's the bottom link down here. And when you put in the sub ID up here, it should automatically uh, be inserted at the end of the link here. If not, you can do it manually. Uh, some depending on how your server constellation is, it it, it, it you know it can populate it uh, automatically. Uh, but if not, then you know just add that sub ID to the end of the link after the equal sign on the bottom link after where it says sub ID equals. Now, you're going to copy that link and then you always want to make it server to server URL because that's what you know this postback URL is. And then you just click on, you paste it in there and you just click on add pixel. Now it's set. Now you need to actually set up your campaign link and this will be the link that you'll be promoting. So you've inserted the offer and now you set the post back so now we're going to go and set up the actual uh, campaign link the promotion link so I'm going to give it the same name uh, that I gave the offer and you know you can name this one whatever you want you know it could be you know say this is a Quiznos gift card it'd be Quiznos um, uh, you know Craigslist or Quiznos uh, whatever you, you know what I'm saying you can name the campaign whatever uh, you just name it accordingly, something you can recognize or whatnot. It's really easy. Uh, and next, under method of promotion, you want to select direct linking. Yeah. Uh, for rotate offers, no, uh, because in this case, we're not rotating offers. I only have uh, one uh, offer here that I'm going to be, be setting up. Uh, and then the offer, uh, if you just put the offer in, it'll pop up under most recent. If not, you know, you can scroll through and see, you know, the rest of the offers that you have there or that you've already inserted and when we inserted the offer uh, link before under networks and offers that's where this is pulling this information from so I'm going to select the offer and then you select your uh, uh, traffic network and I already have some traffic networks uh, set in here I use serious traffic uh, well bus city google adwords and serious traffic dot com so in this case I'll be using uh, serious traffic Dot com and the PPC account will be advertiser and always turn on hide the refer uh, I know the option is there to turn it off but trust me guys turn it on um, and for this particular campaign I'll be paying about mm, seven cents per click actually uh, about five cents per click uh, and then you click on add campaign and you copy this link now this link this link is your your uh the, your, the link that you actually promote you then you then take this link and you can cloak it uh with cpa link ninja or hypershrink um or any other uh link cloaking system such as renegade cloaker or anything else that you know you guys have but this is the actual link that you promote here now at the end of this link it says and keyword equals here you can place a uh, uh, just say if you wanted to, to insert a keyword variable and in this case serious traffic the keyword variable is uh, bracket keyword bracket and this is what I would place uh, you know if I'm if I'm running a PPC campaign and I'm using keywords and I want to know which keywords are actually uh, performing um, if you're not tracking keywords you just want to track you know maybe you got the same campaign link but you have it in different uh, coming from different places and the traffic source may be you know email it may be uh, uh, you know PPC maybe mobile tool it may be this or maybe that or whatever you can go in place uh, right here you know anything you want uh, I'm gonna just you know put in here uh, sample anything that you place there when it's clicked and you go and check it inside of uh, the visitor uh, analysis under the keyword column you'll see where that click actually came from if you're only using one link and you're not tracking keywords but you want to track you know to say alright well this one's on a content locker and this one's on this and this one's on that and this one's whatever and that's what I like to do most of the time uh, I can look and see on the tra on, on, on the plat traffic uh, platform uh, which which keywords are actually performing you know with serious traffic.com on some you can't see that so that's where it will help to place you know a keyword 
variable. But again, uh, this is your the, the link that you actually promote. So uh, just to recap, uh, we went to networks and offers, and then we added an offer name, we selected the offer network, we placed in the offer link, which from Black Cat CPA, you only need to grab up to where it says sub uh, one equals. And then we place the link in, and at the end of that link, after the equal sign here, uh, we placed in uh, uh, the sub ID variable for uh, the daemon tracking system, we entered the payout, we selected the uh, you know what it pays on, and then we, we chose a niche and hit add offer. Then we went and uh, placed the uh, postback URL. I never use a pixel. Um, I always use the straight, simple global postback uh, URL. And inside your network, you can your, your CPA network, you can set this as your 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 global postback URL, so that you you don't have to keep. Uh, uh, Setting the uh, postback URL, you just enter the offer at that point, and you, you know you can you don't you don't have to go and set the postback URL every time. Um, and once we did that, it, we we only entered the we only entered the sub ID, yeah, you know, variable, and then we you know you can leave the amount field blank. You don't need to put anything in there. Um, and then we only use this bottom link down here, and the sub ID variable. Uh, variable was placed automatically at the end of the link at the bottom here um, after the equal sign immediately after the equal sign um, and then we went to actually set up the campaign where you enter the campaign name whatever you want to call it you choose the method of promotion as direct linking because in this this case uh, we're not using the landing page um, and then uh, rotate offers. You choose yes or no based upon whether or not you're rotating offers. If you do rotate offers, uh, you can set up. You can rotate up to three offers. You could actually rotate a lot more than uh, three offers, but that gets into you know the more advanced use of uh, demon tracking. Um, but in this case, you know we're just choosing uh, you know one offer, so the, the rotate off, rotating offers is off or, or chosen. You choose no um, offer one. Uh, we, you know, you go and choose, you know, the offer which you set up under networks and offers, and then uh, the PPC. You choose your PPC account, um, and or your network and you know your account. You always turn on uh, high refer and enter the amount uh, for your our CPC or cost uh, per click. And you know this is under you know this is a general uh, uh, tutorial. Um, it's just for you know PPC, PPC uh, media, others, PPV, email, email. You won't be putting in a you know a cost per click because there's no cost per you know click. There's only the cost for the actual campaign. Um, so you know when you're entering a direct link for email, you know you won't see the cost per click field there. So don't you know get confused. And again, below this video is uh, a list of the uh, sub IDs which should fit for almost any uh, network platform out there. Uh, yes, postback uh, sub ID variables are specific to uh, individual platforms, depending on what platform or or uh, tracking you know platform that your CPA network is using. If they're using has offers, then you know the the, the sub ID is always going to be this, and you can always recognize the has offers platform, or you can ask your affiliate manager uh, what platform are you guys using, or you know you can just simply look and or ask your affiliate manager, hey, what's the postback, you know sub ID. The sub ID issue should not be a problem. Uh, after you know you guys see this video uh, it should not be a problem at all it's really easy uh, the only thing you have to do is just you know keep doing it uh, you you know after three four or five times you'll you'll, you'll get the hang of it it's really not uh, that hard and of course you can refer back to this video thanks